looking at boat pose or Navasana, which is a great pose for feeling and engaging your core stability all the way through your trunk and feeling how that is really working with a smooth, even 360 degree expansion as you breathe. So the breath is a really important part of keeping that core stability going. So we're going to try a range of variations and hopefully you'll find somewhere that feels like a really uh, useful, enjoyable, manageable place to work boat pose today. We're going to start sitting with our legs in front, pointing your big toes, bringing the legs together and then grip under your knees. We're going to use that grip to pull up onto the top of the sit bones, those two bones at the base of the, the buttocks, and then pulling your lower back as straight as you can. Shoulder blades can roll down the back and firm into the back. And then from here, you're feeling like you're in a V shape with your legs and your trunks. You might even lean back just a tiny bit. From there, see how it feels to connect to this 360 degree breathing. So smoothly breathing in and out through the nose, can you feel that expansion through your lower ribs, front, back and sides? So just noticing how that feels. And then when you're ready, just take a breather. So when we start to work on that position, one thing that can happen is that you notice shaking. That's all normal. That's, that's a good sign that all the muscles are connecting and trying to work together. So a little bit of shaking or feeling like you're wobbling back and forth is really normal. Uh, but if you feel like you're rolled back and you've got a bit stuck there and it feels very difficult to get up onto your sit bones, um, what you can do is, is find something to sit on. So that would be your first position. Yoga bricks are good, or if you've got a couple of really big books, you can stack and sit on. And then find that same position again. And it will just change the angle of your body slightly and help you to get that lift through the lower vertebrae of the spine, which is, is really crucial. So finding your tiptoes, gripping under your knees, pulling on the knees to get to the top of the sit bones, and then feeling for this straight position in the trunk. That's how it feels as your lower back moves in and shoulder blades firm into the back. Also watching the position of your head. We're feeling for the neck spine as part of the rest of the spine. So it might feel like you're slightly lengthening the back of the neck rather than the chin lifting up. So we're engaging the whole front line of the body. And then from there, just see if you can tune into your breathing again. Deep, smooth breaths, expanding the rib cage, front, back and sides. And just noticing if this feels a much better position for you to maintain this neutral trunk position, neither rounding or arching. And to hold yourself steady there with your breathing. Okay. So that, if that felt better, that's probably your pose for today. And from there, you can add a little bit more uh, exploration by lifting up one leg and then the other leg and seeing if you can maintain that lift up through your lower back. The trunk doesn't move. You're just adding something else moving to challenge the trunk to hold its position. So you're just tapping one toe after the other. So that's the next bit you can add. If you found sitting on the floor felt fine and you felt like you could find that uh, straight position through your trunk, then continuing from there, we'll, we'll do a few more variations. So pulling up onto the sit bones, shoulder blades firming into the back, finding that smooth, even breath. And then you could do some toe taps from here, making them a bit more continuous. So it's never that both legs are giving you stability on the mat. And as you keep breathing, just noticing how this has added a little bit more challenge. Feeling that wrap and round of musculature holding you here. And then you can see how it feels to keep both legs up and find the breath there. Smooth, even breath, squeezing the legs together. And then coming back down. Okay. We can add a little bit more challenge from there. The next version, you can use a brick if you've got one handy. And you're just going to put the brick between your thighs. And this can help to uh, really tune into the legs engaging and supporting the, the shape we're in. Holding under your knees, finding the sit bones, shoulder blades firming. 
sideways breathing through your lower ribs and then see how it feels to take one leg up, the other leg up, resetting the trunk as you need, squeezing the brick uh, with your legs and maintaining that position. Notice how that changes the feeling as you breathe there. For five, four, three, two, one, and then coming back down. For the next variation, same starting point, finding the sit bones, shoulder blades firming, finding that V shape, smooth breath, taking the legs up and holding. Feeling the back of the neck long all the way down to those sit bones. And this constant lifting up, lifting up out of the lower back. And then if that feels fine to hold, we're going to go lighter with the hands. So as the legs squeeze together, let's get onto just a few fingertips. You're not using your hands to hold you quite so much. And then we're going to hold that for five, four, three, two, one option to get a good grip with both of your hands again, even take a breather, bring your feet to the mat. Or if that felt really fine, just with sort of half support with your hands, see how it feels to let go. Can you maintain that position of your trunk, lifting up out of your lower back? That's already four, three, lifting up through the chest, two, and one, grabbing your knees to lower down. So it can feel quite a big shift and quite a lot shakier when you shift from holding on with your hands to letting go with arms wide. So give yourself plenty of time to practice holding on with your hands. And also try a half version where you just still have a little bit of grip. You can always go back to hands holding completely, but you're, you're feeling that suddenly the, uh, the core's having to engage a little bit more. Okay, we're just gonna do a fun variation once you're practicing um, holding with lighter hands and you're practicing perhaps also letting go with your hands. So setting up again, sit bones, V shape, smooth breathing, taking the legs up and either letting go or keeping hold with your hands for five, four, lifting the chest, three, smooth breathing, two, one, and then take your forearm under your knees and reach your other arm uh, back and down behind you. From there, see how it feels to find a little bit of rotation through your rib cage. Taking a full smooth breath at the side and then coming back to centre, swap arms. You're holding with the other arm, reaching the hand back. Find a little bit of turn through the ribs. Checking your back shoulder feels comfortable. Let's do one more to each side. So you've got the support of your arm on your legs here, and it's just adding another variation. So we, we spend some time in boat pose, it becomes more familiar, and then we're back at the center again for another hold. It can be with both hands, just the fingertips or arms off for five, four, lifting the chest, three, two, and one, lowering down. Taking a breather again. So all those versions of boat pose uh, help you to feel your core stability when your trunk is in quite a neutral position. It's neither flexing nor arching. So the next version we're going to do uh, works the front line of the body a little bit more. So you'll feel the, the front uh, muscles engaging a bit more. So we start in the same way sit bones, shoulder blades firming into the back, taking smooth breaths around the whole of your lower rib cage and then taking both legs up, just maintaining as much lift through the trunk as you can. Smooth breaths there and then we're going to start to straighten the arms a bit and lean back, rolling as smoothly as possible onto the lower back and then reaching one leg out straight, both ones go to the other leg. Feeling this wrapping around, especially on the exhale, under your belly button of support all around your whole abdomen and then seeing how it feels to slowly 
swap legs. Chins tucked in, shoulders more or less the same height as your feet. And just swapping three times, four times, and one more. Breathing smoothly, probably shaking. Hold under both knees and take your time to smoothly come all the way back up. Taking a breath there and bring your feet back down. Okay, so you could probably feel a lot more activation in the front of the body. We'll add a couple more variations to that. That might have felt like plenty of challenge, especially if, you're, if you've not done it before. So you can repeat that one, alternating holding on to your legs. And the next version is to find boat pose, take a couple of breaths, front, back and sides, and then letting go with the arms, finding that controlled roll back onto your lower back, and then possibly even straightening both legs. And as you breathe, feeling that wrapping around from the side of your body all the way to the front for five, four, three, curling in, two, one, slowly and smoothly making your way back to boat pose, maybe straighten the legs a bit and then back down. Three, two, one, back up, trying to reset the back as best as you can, using the hands if you need to, and last one, rolling to the lower back, keeping the breath going, for five, four, three, two, one, coming all the way back, and then you could try a few without hold, so you're rolling back smoothly, and coming back up, rolling back smoothly, and back up. And coming back up, feet down, and taking a breather. So as you progress through the different variations of Vipassana, the key thing is that the one you're working on feels really manageable as if you could do quite a few repetitions comfortably before you move on to the, the next one. So that you're always working with a position that's useful and not straining, but it's actually um, enjoyable and uh, is, is helping you get stronger as well. I hope you found a position that worked well for you today. Please do leave me a comment, let me know how that went for you. And if you haven't subscribed, you can click on the red subscribe button and you'll get all the new videos as they come through. Thanks for watching.